topic of discussion is image compression the agenda for this session is introduction to image compression data redundancy classification of data redundancy approaches of image compression in detail in the last session we have seen that how the images are classified and how the memory or the storage is calculated for that specified image so the digital image requires a huge amount of space for storage and a large bandwidth for transmission a image of size 640 by 480 requires approximately 1 megabyte of memory so the goal of image compression is to reduce the amount of data required to represent a digital image so reduce the storage requirement and increase the transmission rate so f of x is the input image which is compressed then it is transmitted on the transmission channel and at the receiver end it is decompressed and which will be similar to the original image so the flow of the image compression is first the image file is converted into a series of binary data which is called as a bit stream the decoder receives the encoded bit stream and decode it to reconstruct the image at the receiver end the total data quantity of the bit stream is less than the total data quantity of the original image so the approaches for the image compression is lossless and lossy compression in a lossless as name indicate it is it is the information preserving and it is having a low compression ratio whereas in case of the lossy compression it is not preserving the information it means the some information is lost and it is going to have the high compression ratio so data versus information we will see one example for this in example 1 the message is given as your friend meenu will meet you at lohoga airport in pune at 5 minutes past 6 pm tomorrow night so in order to represent this message we require total 19 words whereas the same information can be represented as your friend will meet you at lohoga airport at 5 minutes past 6 pm tomorrow night so for this it requires total 16 words and the third way we can represent the same information that is meenu will meet you at lohoga at 6 pm tomorrow night so if you are going to compare these three example in example 3 it requires less number of words to represent the data so the data redundancy how the data redundancy or the compression ratio is calculated data set 1 which is nothing but the original image or which is represented with the n n1 number of bits and data set 2 which is the compressed image which is n2 carrying units that is the number of bits used for the compressed image so the compression ratio cr is going to be calculated as n1 as n2 that is n1 upon n2 so the relative data redundancy is represented as rd is equal to 1 minus 1 upon cr where cr is the which we have calculated as a compression ratio so if my n1 is equal to equal to n1 that means n1 and n2 is going to have the same number of bits at that time my redundancy is zero whereas if my n2 is less than n1 at that time the redundancy approach is to one so this is nothing but the calculation of data redundancy so there are different types of data redundancies the data redundancy is classified into three categories coding redundancy interpixel redundancy and psychovisual redundancy the compression attempts to reduce one or more of these redundancy types so we are going to see in detail the coding redundancy in case of your coding redundancy basically the code it is a list of symbols these symbols may be letters numbers bits etc 
code word it is nothing but a sequence of symbol used to represent a piece of information or an event in case of our image processing it is re the code word is represented as the gray levels and whereas the code word length it is nothing but the number of symbols in each code word which represents that particular code so for example over here if we are using a binary code and the symbols are zeros and ones so 0 to 7 digits are represented with the binary code which is going to be represented with the symbol 0 and 1 and its length is equal to 3 so for images it is represented with a number of rows and number of columns so n by m is the image size rk which indicates the k gray level p of rk which indicates the probability of that gray level and l of rk which is nothing but the number of bits used to represent that gray level so the average bit l average is calculated as summation which varies from k is equal to 0 to l minus 1 l of rk into p of rk that is nothing but the total number of bits used to represent that particular image this is one more example which shows the variable length coding and the remaining classification we will discuss in the next session thank you